What's up guys, Justin here with the realtimeessentials.com back with another Unity tool tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're gonna check out how to use ProBuilder. ProBuilder is a free tool that you can use for Unity in order to actually create 3D shapes, edit them, adjust them, work with their materials, other things like that. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so to start off, what you need to do is you need to actually enable Pro Builder. And so the way that we're going to do that is we're going to add that to our project. And now the way that you get to that is you get to it through the package manager. So you go to window package manager. And what you want to do is you want to actually click on this little drop down right here and actually go to the unity registry. And so that's going to have a number of different tools that you can enable. But what we want to do is we want to scroll down until we find the option for Pro Builder. So we're going to click on Pro Builder right here. Then we're click, going to click on the button for install. What that's going to do is that's going to install the package file into Unity. And then we can use Pro Builder inside of our scene. All right, so then we're just going to close this. And notice how what that's going to do is that's going to give us an option under Tools for Pro Builder. And notice how in here there's a bunch of different options. We're going to focus specifically on this option right here, which is the Pro Builder window. Pro Builder window is gonna give us access to all of the different tools inside of Pro Builder. And so there's two ways that you can look at this. The first is you can look at this in list view, which is usually the way that I do this, um, but you can also right click on this and click on icon mode. Icon mode is gonna give you access to all of these different tools um, using icons. So I personally prefer the list um, just because I don't know what all the icons do. I don't find them super intuitive, so I find working with text mode works a little bit better for me. And so um, notice how there's options in here to do things like add a new shape. So if we were to click on this, what that's gonna do is that's gonna add a shape into our scene. So if we fly around, notice how this, for example, added a stair right here. And so if you just click on new shape, what it's gonna do is it's gonna add the last shape that you had added inside of Pro Builder. So the last time I did this, I had added a stair. However, and I'm gonna delete this out real quick. You can also click on the little plus button right here. That's gonna take you into the shape editor window. And so the shape editor window is gonna allow you to actually edit the shape that you've selected. So, for example, let's click on this drop down and look at our options. So we have options in here for things like cubes or sprites or prisms as well as some more detailed things like stairs and cylinders and doors and planes. And so let's take a look at a couple of these. So first off, let's look at the simplest one, which would be a cube. So if we look at the cube, notice how you can set the size. So you can set the X, Y, and Z values to adjust how big this is before it's placed into your scene. So you can set this to be an actual cube. So you could type in like three by three by three, or you could make it more of like a oblong or rectangle shape, something like that. So you can also reset this to the default settings by clicking this little button right here and clicking on reset. And so let's say that we wanted to start by adding a plane. So I'm gonna add a plane in and I'm gonna give it a width or a length and a width of maybe like 50 and 50. And notice how when you bring this in, it comes in with a texture that actually shows us the real size of it. So you can see how this is one meter right here. But then once you're done creating a shape like this, you can just click on the button for build. And what that's gonna do when you click on build is that's gonna finalize this shape. So don't click on build again because it's gonna create another copy of this. Um, so I'm gonna delete this out and then you can close out of this and the uh, preview plane will go away. But notice how now this has been added in here as an actual object in our 3D space. And as far as I know, once you've created these objects, you can't go back in and edit their settings so I don't think, for example, that you can come back in here and decide that you wanted this to be a different size. I mean, you could adjust the scale, but um, so just make sure that you've set things how you want them to be. So we're gonna click on the plus button again. And in this case, let's add like a stair right here. And let's take a look at some of the options for the stair. So the stair is gonna allow you to adjust the number of steps that are in your stair, as well as how long this curve is, your width, your height, as well as your radius. So this is really good for quickly adding things like stairs into your levels.
I'm gonna click on build in order to finalize that and then we'll close out of this. So that's an easy way to create shapes. Another thing you can do in here is you can also create a new poly shape. And so what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow you to click inside of your uh, workspace right here as many times as you want to add sides, but then you can close this in and you can extrude this to a height. So if you need like a custom shape like this, this is an easy way to do this. So you can do those custom extruded shapes, but then there's also tools in here to allow you to adjust these objects. And so now real quick, let's take a look at these options right here for the kinds of selections you can do. Because once you create shapes, you can also work with them. So not only can you select objects, so I can click on like this one or this one, you can also use this to select things like vertices. So notice how I can click on this end and I can actually adjust the location of the vertices in the 3D space as well. So this gives you a lot of control over your actual shapes. And notice how when I click on these, I'm getting new options inside of the Pro Builder window in here. And so for example, I could come in here and I could set a distance and I could click on the button to extrude faces in order to extrude this out. So notice how it takes the face and extrudes it along the face normal right here. So then you can adjust this and move it around as well. So there's a ton of other options in here. So let's say for example that we were to add, let's go with a simple cube for now. So let's say we were to create a simple cube like this one. Well then we could take that and we could select things like the different faces and we could subdivide them. So notice how I can come in here, I can subdivide this object. Well that's gonna give me more detail that I can work with inside of the 3D space. So then I could use this to either like move this face or I could extrude it like this. And then that's gonna be adjustable as well. So what that does is that gives us a ton of control over our actual 3D space or our actual 3D objects that are in here. So another fun one is the mirror objects function. What that's gonna do is that's gonna allow us to mirror our object along one of the axes. So let's say for example that we wanted to mirror this along the X axis, we could click on the button for mirror right here. And so you could also set this to mirror and duplicate. So if I check the box for duplicate, what that's gonna do is that's gonna create a copy right here. And what that is, is that's really great for creating these symmetrical type objects. So you can also select edges like these, and then there's an option in here to bevel those edges. So I could set a distance to bevel this off in order to give these edges more of like a realistic look in here. So if you didn't want everything to be sharp, you could just bevel those pieces off. But there's also a material edit in, editor in here that you can use in order to set materials really quickly. So if I was to click on this, for example, and then hit Alt-1, notice how that's gonna swap to my Pro Builder default material. The second material right now is one that I added. So if I was to click into my assets, you can see how I added a ground material right here. But this is also set where I can just hit Alt-2 on my keyboard, and it's gonna apply that material really quickly. And so not only is there an option in here to manage your materials, there's also a UV editor. So the UV editor is gonna allow me to set the way this is UV mapped on this object. So a lot of the time what I like to do is I like to click this button right here. That's gonna lock the tools over here in my scene view to the actual um, UV editing. So now if I was to select these, so what I wanna do is I just wanna drag a box across all of these to select them. But notice how now I can use this in order to place materials on my surface, or I can also set this to like scale. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna let me adjust the size of the material on my surface right here. So this can be a very valuable tool for setting up the way that materials sit on objects inside of your scenes in Unity. All right, so that's a very quick overview of some of the things contained inside of Pro Builder. I seriously recommend that you download that and try it out. Um, it's a lot of fun. It gives you a lot of control over things inside of Unity. But leave a comment below. Let me know if you'd like to see more tutorials on this. If you have any questions, I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Unity content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it. I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.